Hi everybody and welcome back. Today I've got a special guest with me. Hi, I'm Lottie. I'm a Pilates instructor and um, a healthy lifestyle blogger as well. I'm very happy to be on Nick's channel. Yeah, so um, I'm down in London and I just thought I would meet up with Lottie. And seeing as though over the past few weeks I've been spending a lot of time in the hotels, we thought that it might be a good idea to talk through our healthy snack ideas, our healthy travel tips. So once you finish watching this video, head over to Lottie's channel where we'll be talking about more tips to keep healthy on the go. Yeah. So I'll let Lottie go first. We've got a selection of healthy snacks and we've actually, we didn't talk about what snacks we we're going to bring today. We've actually got quite similar ones. So we'll talk about them as we go along. Yes. So the first snack I've got is nuts. And you can buy these little nut packs yeah. in quite a few places now. I know Boots, um, these are from Sainsbury's, mm -hmm. from Morrison's. And you can get sort of just Brazil nuts or cashew nuts um, and they do mixed bags as yeah. well and I just think a really filling and um, substantial snack. Yeah. Good fats. Yeah, um, really healthy the guys. Fats. These are like 40 gram bags and so it's like 250 calories but as Lottie said it's a fantastic source of, source of healthy fats. You've got protein and fibre in here so basically it's going to be keeping you feeling full of longer. And it's quite satisfying like a nice crunchy snack as yeah, well. Yeah, definitely. So my next snack is basically dried or fresh fruit. Um, on the dried side I've got two. So I've got some dried mango slices and apple crisps. Have you tried these before? No. They're, they're really nice. nice. I'll, I'll give them to you to take a <laughs> oh, <thank you. laughs> These are for the new Me range from Morrison's and they're See also from range. Morrison's. Yeah, they're really good. So in the whole bag it's like 68 calories there and 93 calories for mango so they do contain sugar but they're natural sugar it's slow release and you'll be getting lots of fiber antioxidant vitamins minerals as well um, and you've got something quite similar to this yeah one. i've got um kale chips which um these ones are from inspiral so i work um, near a, hot, uh, a health food shop so that's why i get them but i just love kale i love kale chips and yeah. not for everyone but i know that prep do these and um where else? And Marks and Spencer's do them now as well. well. What are the ingredients like? The ingredients is really natural in here. So you've got curly kale, sunflower seeds, buckwheat, oh. lime juice, um, carrots. You know, it's all it's all really good ingredients to be honest. So I think, like that's a top tip. If you're ever thinking is a product healthy, just turn it over because I know that Definitely. you can buy some vegetable crisps and the first ingredient is like oil and. Yeah. So yeah, with that you're getting quite a lot of nutrients. If you're not a fan of the dried stuff, then I always take with me like a banana because it's got its own casing. Um, and then, if you're like me and you love to eat apples and bananas, oh sorry, apples and pears, but you've got braces, you can't bite into them. So there are these little like, these are actually for babies, like, <laughs> but when you've got braces, you'll understand if you really just want some fresh fruit that's not dried, you can take these little packs, it's not going to go on machine in your bag, and it's 100% fruit, so... I think that's a really good idea, I'm actually yeah. going to get them as I, well. <laughs> I got the idea because I used to buy the, well I still do buy the baby apple puree for baking, because there's no added sugar. Um, cause in, in England I think it's really hard to buy uh, no added sugar, like apple puree. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, it's good on the baby aisle. I won't judge you. Don't judge me. <laughs> the next snack we have is naked bars. Now I yes. love. Um, I used to love cereal bars and all those types of snacks. And then when I started learning a lot more about health and nutrition, I realised that then you know packed full of sort of yeah. um, you know bad sugars and sweeteners. But these are, naked bars are great because they are. There's literally like maximum five ingredients in most yeah. of them and they're all whole natural ingredients yeah um, I think i've got a whole video on like how to choose a healthy snack bar yeah. and the, the main thing is just to look at the ingredients mm -hmm. you know if things like fruit nuts oats are at the top then that's great like these are like so this one i love bagel tart have you tried it no <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're, gonna this one. I'll do this one. <laughs> you're gonna be giving me all the snacks <laughs> This is one of my favourites, so it's dates 49%, cashews 35%, raisins 16 and a hint of natural flavouring. So yeah, yeah. my favourite. My favourite is cashew cookie and it's literally cashews and dates. Yeah. So I've tried making them myself as well and they pretty much taste the same. Just, yeah. You know, dates and cashews in a in a processor. But, but these are quite oh convenient. Go, really yeah. convenient, yeah. I mean and then very, very delights with one as well. Um, and I'm quite a fan of the cocoa orange and the cocoa one, because it's like you're getting a chocolate fix as well. Yeah. And talking of the chocolate fix, I've got some dark chocolate, so we are both dark chocolate fans. We are. Um, I've got some 70% chilli and orange here. 
I'm not necessarily advising you buy a whole bar for travelling, but Lottie has got two solutions to pick from. Okay, so I love 90%, but you can't get them in the smaller bars, so you can get smaller bars in quite a lot of places now. Um, Green and Blacks do a 70% dark one, I've seen that loads, so just look out yeah. for it, and that's um, probably a good portion, 35 grams. Yeah. Um, but... Yeah, I mean it's... So, 205 calories, so it's like you get your chocolate fix for yeah, about definitely. 600 calories. Because <laughs> I could eat the whole thing. But also, carry in some sort of empty Tupperwares or um, get, in your, get in your big bar and then put in a couple of squares in a little Tupperware box is a really good idea as well, rather than carrying around the whole bar. And you can also, you could make up your own snacks in there. You could add, you know, a bit of chocolate, some nuts, some dried fruit, so it's like your own trail mix. Um, and you've got those I from love Paper doing Chase. That. Yeah, you? I've got these from Paper Chase. They're what the ones that sort of go into each other. Yeah, I'm such a Tupperware and fan. There are also really nice ones from a company called Happy Jackson. So I don't have any with me, but they're like fun colours and things like that. So yeah. I'll link them down below. I've also got two extras. So if I am travelling for a few hours, I want something more substantial. So I might have kind of like a protein shake, or I've got Purition here. These are basically 100% natural ingredients. I can. We'll give you these to try as well. Um, on the ingredients, so it's whey protein, then flax seeds, sunflower, almonds, coconut, cocoa, chia seeds, the list goes on. They are honestly fantastic. They come in these little packs, so you can get like a sample box of about six. Um, take these along with you, and to make them up, I'll grab my shaker. I have one of these shakers and I might put some milk in here and give it a whiz or I might buy some milk from Costa Coffee and I think buying some cost, uh, some milk and water was like £2.50 so you add one of these and you get like a really substantial filling snack and it's also really good if say you're going to miss a meal so rather than missing a meal and like having a couple of chocolate bars have one of these and then you've got like a mini meal in one yeah um, definitely going to be doing that yeah too. they also taste really nice blended with frozen banana um, and some ice as well, it's like ice cream. So nice. Um, and then yeah, a couple of my extras um, are popcorn, which is a really nice snack, really, really tasty, yeah. um, and sort of good on the, on the calories wise as well. Yeah. And then also, quite, quite yeah, they are filling. Um, me and my friends love them. And then some crispy seaweed, this is from Its Itsu, but they do do them in quite a lot of supermarkets now. Um, and I'm laughing <laughs> because, because Lottie was like, oh, we tried these and I was like, oh no, I tried them the other week. I bought them from Wayrose before I was getting my hair cut and I wasn't a fan of the aftertaste because I thought they were more like crisps, but you're a fan. I am. So. They are, uh, and I think they're an acquired taste, they're very seaweedy. Yeah, a bit fishy. Yeah, say. yeah, I would, yeah, I get a bit fishy. My, maybe you got a bad, bad match. Yeah. <laughs> let us know if you've tried them, so the Itsu crispy seaweed things. Yeah. So yeah, and let us know what you think to all of these products down below. Um, and if you've got any more healthy suggestions. Um, we're going to have a munching session now. Yeah. <laughs> so really hope that you've enjoyed this video. L do let us know below um, what you think to our healthy snacks and if you've got any more suggestions. Uh, thank you Lottie so much for being in this video. Thank you for having me, Nick. Yeah, I know it's fine. <laughs> and head over now to Lottie's channel where we will, will be filming our healthy um, travel tips on the go. Bye! Bye. Bye.